Hey! Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's go and battle the other rock members. But first, I'm gonna mess up your sand garden of zenness. <laughs> How do you like footprints in your water waves of zenness? <laughs> I did nothing, didn't I? Well, anyway, I'm Ryan, a sculptor and member of the Rock Club. Team Great Rocket, the moniker GR number one. There's no one, no matter how weird, <laughs> that our club master can't overcome. We'll fight against all Team GR. We have the might! <laughs> yes, are four prize cards acceptable? Uh, yes, if you beat me, I'll give you a booster pack. Alright, important truth that Oh no, not the truth! Anything but the truth! No one can handle the truth because we all live lies! Alright, anyway. <laughs> uh, let's see what we got here. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Stall with the Onyx and then power up Charmander into Charmeleon. If I can, because I don't have any energy cards, it's kind of weird. Nor any <laughs> draw cards to boot. Because remember, I swapped out energies for draws, so... Even if I would have gotten uh, the draw cards, that would have been like getting an energy card, basically. And <laughs> sort of like it. But anyway, I, I, got, I got nothing. <laughs> um, he, his deck is kind of powerful this early in the game. He's got energy removal. As well as a bunch of powerful critters, although he's only got Sandshu at the moment here, so... Uh, that will probably work in his favor, because I don't have much as well. But we'll see how things go, as long as I'm stalling out. Oh shoot! New version of Diglett, I gotta show that one. And her- ah! <laughs> Oh, the most powerful cards ever made! Yeah, you removed the energy card off my charm man there. Planning ahead, he heard me talking! He heard me planning to get that Charmander <laughs> powered up for Charmeleon, dang it. Um, I mean, I have energy retrieval, but that's not really... I'll stall with potion. Heals two damage counters, or 20. And I, I guess I could plop that on there, too. And call it a turn. He's got one bench Pokemon now, so I, could, what, so I can't finish him off super fast. Yeah, uh, lack of energy cards. Not a good start. <laughs> not a good opening hand. Oh, Bill. Okay, that's that could be my energy. Growlithe energy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna continue our plan here, and hope we don't get energy removal to oblivion. <laughs> Sand true. I'm gonna start powering up for Sand Slash. Probably. Oh yeah, I still gotta show that Diglett, don't I? I'll do that on my turn when I can check the play field. Bonita, let's see here. Yeah, what's not no Diglets? So it's got a peck attack. I always found it weird that Diglets can peck, but yes, they can peck. And rolling movement. Flip a coin as it does a 10 additional damage. It's probably the superior version of the Diglets since it's got more HP, which you know it can, it can stall out more, and and thus do more damage in the long run. But well, there's only so much I can do about this. <laughs> Alright, just leave it for a turn. Hopefully I'll just keep attacking with the Sand Shrew and only do 10 damage a turn. If he evolves into Sand Slash, that will be a problem, but hopefully it will not be... Oh, that's right, my bench is now full of all sorts of stuff, so I'll just wait it out to put, to put Machop on there, and maybe I can get a Machoke out as well, but yeah, what is with this weird lack of energy going on here? Professor Oak, where are you? <laughs> Maybe that would be too powerful the game was thinking. It was like, yeah, we're not we're not gonna let that happen. We're just gonna I'm gonna just set that up ahead of time in case he gusts of winds me or something. I don't remember if he has gusts of wind in the deck. I just always assume someone has it just for the sake of sakes just strategy 101. It's like always assuming someone has heavy storm in their deck back in Yu-Gi-Oh days and heavy storm was legal. Always anticipate that your back row is going to be decimated. <laughs> Alright, so he's going to keep sand attacking. And I'll hopefully be able to keep powering up that Charmeleon. Hopefully, another Machop. No energy! I mean, I, I can use the energy retrieval just to retrieve one energy card, but... Oh, no! <laughs> this is taking too long. He's powering stuff up. Oh, double the... Oh, no! 
Oh! Oh! <laughs> He's kind of thinking about the way this is going. He might be just difficult to beat in the early game. Who knows? So this Graveler here has got Stone Barrage. Flip the coin until you get Tails. Attack does 20 damage times the heads. So it can, in theory, do unlimited damage. But it probably won't. <laughs> and an Earthquake does 10 damage to your own bench. That might work in my favor. Even though it does 50. And the Marowak. Uh, heads... One can attack during the next turn. Well, each player fills up her bench with basic Pokemon chosen at random. That's a Game Boy exclusive card effect because randomize randomization effects like that are really awkward to do in an actual card game. So that's why it's a GB card. Because th these sorts of randomization things are... Yeah, th yeah. Could you imagine just like pulling out all of your basic Pokemon from your deck, shuffling them around randomly, then picking them randomly? And then shuffling the others back into the deck. It would take forever. Forever. Anyway, I'm done. <laughs> and sand attack. You can do that if you would like to, I suppose. I'm not attacking with Onyx anyway. That's not Onyx expected. Uh, I'm gonna go and... I suppose... I was like, mm, no. I was like, actually, actually, I should probably save that in case I can get the Machoke out there. Because that would be very helpful as well. So I'll just let you knock on Onyx. We'll call it a turn. <laughs> you can take your prize card. You can be happy. Have a good day. This is all part of the strategy. And... I suppose... I should... I'll try Ponyta. Because Ponyta doesn't really have all that much. It's got the one retreat cost, and with the powers that be here... Uh, whoops, I was gonna... gotta put Machop on the bench first. With the powers that be here, I could double stall with critters, and with that low retreat cost, I should be, in theory, good. Unless he starts energy removal me, me again. But we shall see how things turn out. I mean, it's like... Well, well, I have I've not been having a very good game here. <laughs> I think this game would have been won already, if not for my lack of energy cards. Let's just put it that way. Okay, so he's probably gonna try earthquaking. Probably. Oh no! <laughs> he's got Professor Oak too. Oh no! And he's so happy. Oh, he's gonna try for the stone barrage. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah I, would, I wouldn't have gone that that route there. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's okay, though. Uh, oh, I got energy removal. Let's see here. Yeah, I would have gone for the Earthquake, because that's a guaranteed KO, even though it would have done damage to the bench, but they have so much HP that you just start sweeping me. Um, How do I want to use this energy removal? I probably... <laughs> kind of want to use it on uh, the Marowak in a way because it has, uh, I mean, it has the uh, bone attack dealio, and it, yeah, it'll just keep stalling me out. But I think that it wouldn't really much matter because it has two energy cards. And I need another energy removal, uh, so I'm tempted either Diglett or Sandshrew, or maybe just save it. I don't <laughs> it doesn't seem like the right time to energy removal, you know? You know? <laughs> oh, Tails again. Tails does fail. <laughs> and fire, okay. Now we're cooking. We're gonna go and... Wait, actually I should probably... Do this really quick. Uh-huh. And then we are going to... Let's put that on Charmeleon as well. And call it a turn. Hopefully this will work out. Like, he'll knock out Ponyta, and then I'll start barraging him <laughs> with the Charmeleon. Okay, he's not gonna knock out Ponyta. That'll... okay. <laughs> uh, fighting. You know what? Okay, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna go Energy Removal on the Graveler, retreat with Ponyta, go to Charmeleon, attack with the Slash, not the Flamethrower, because the Flamethrower requires me to discard an energy, and it has 60 HP anyway, so... Let's just see how this turns out. Stone Barrage, get a Tails again, please. Thank you! Alright! Energy card conservation! <laughs> I don't have to accelerate anything or anything like that. Like, I don't... 
Like, I don't have to worry about um, taking 60 from something coming, you know? Alright, well, 60 or more. I mean, 60, 40, it depends on how many heads he gets, but yeah, I'm getting kind of lucky with the coin flips, which is kind of nice compared to how things started out. <laughs> the game is balancing out! <laughs> um, grab that, another macho. Come on, energy cards, where are you? <laughs> I got 22 in there! <laughs> That's over a third of my deck! I'm gonna be lacking so many energy! Alright, hopefully he'll not get heads. Good. I think I'm gonna start with a slash attack, and then do the flamethrower. Because then I'll be able to... keep that energy card for others, like so. So, let's go ahead and slash. Like, I still have enough energy for two flamethrowers anyway, so I'll just kinda do that to begin with, and hopefully the bone attack will not get anywhere. Please, no heads. Please, don't. oh! Oh, that's fine. It just stalls for a turn. I only take 10. Just as long as he doesn't do 60 in a single turn, like, does a switch and then does 60 with some evolution, I am good. Um... Hmm... Yeah. Done. <laughs> Can't attack. Bill, oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Look how, look how long this game's been going on. How many cards have been sapped from our decks? Just waiting for things. Plus power, that that may do something. A little be a little more helpful to him. I guess it'll do 20 rather than 10. Plus power is actually a pretty powerful little dealio because it does 10 more damage than your Yes! Finally! Because <laughs> it does 10 more damage than typically. Uh, I'm actually gonna wait on that, believe it or not, uh, because I'm gonna flamethrower this turn. But, uh, yeah, the plus power is... its power is that it throws off the opponent. If your opponent thinks they're safe by 10 HP damage in a lot of cases, but they're not if you have plus powers in your deck. So that's always a threat, similar to Heavy Star. <laughs> um, so yeah, Flamethrower. Woo! And then what I'm gonna do is uh, energy retrieval those energy cards, because I'm oddly lacking in energy for some reason in this game, so... And since I'll have a guaranteed two energy cards to play around with them, that- oh no. Oh no. That could be a problem. <laughs> uh, oh no. <laughs> I gotta start accelerating this, dang it. <laughs> um, but yeah, that, since I've been lacking energy cards, uh, be having two more guaranteed turns of being able to plop energy cards on Pokemon, Seems like a pretty useful thing to have, so we're gonna go plop this on Machoke, and then we're gonna do the. Oops, wait, yeah, yeah, that's right, energy removal is. I mean, energy retrieval is down there. Let's discard the Rattata because it's weak against fighting, and we're gonna grab fighting and fire, and we're gonna hurry up with the flamethrower here to do as much damage as I can before Charmeleon gets knocked out. He's still got three prize cards to go, so after this we will be in the same boat, basically. And the slash attack hits, of course, knocking out Charmeleon, and then I put out the Machoke that I've been powering up in advance. Now we're looking good here. Now, as for that Dug Trio that I didn't really show yet, um, as long as it's on the bench, prevent all damage. So, bench attacks, like I showed before, ain't gonna be able to hit it. And Earth Wave. It does 30 to the active Pokémon that you have, plus 10 to bench a Pokémon as well. So that could do a lot of damage. Gradually. <laughs> uh, anyway, we're gonna go now. And I suppose... Get that set up. And maybe I should get another Macho... Oops, that's right, I gotta... <laughs> put, that on, put that on there! And we're just gonna go with Karate Chop. No submission, because that'll do 220 damage to myself. Good lord, is this game taking a while. <laughs> He's probably gonna Earthquake. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, oh okay, that's, that's alright. <laughs> that's not that bad, it's okay. Alright, an Earth Wave. So I was gonna do 30. And then I was gonna go ahead and knock out those 10s. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's only up to 2 two of your opponent's bench Pokemon, not like the whole bench, but I mean, it just it just keeps adding up, basically. We're gonna try for another Machoke there, and... Let's go ahead and... Oh, wait, wait, actually... 
Um... I wonder if I should... But Professor Oak can go for a fighting energy? I probably should. Uh... Because if I use my fire energy per turn, then I can't do submission. Because I, I need up three fighting. Yeah. So I'm just going to Professor Oak and hope for the best. I'm pretty sure I'll get a fighting since I've been so lacking in energy. Yeah, that's what I thought. They're all at the bottom of my deck. <laughs> There's 60 and 20 there. He'll be able to knock out Machop, I mean Machoke on the next turn, but then I'll just use my Machop to... Uh, just do a low kick and finish him off on the next turn. Voila! Alright, we will... Oh, that's right, I... Ooh, I evolved it. Shoot! Um... That could be a problem. Uh, well, I guess I could just go for the coin flip heads. Hope for the best here. Let's plop that on there. Uh, oh yeah, I could resist attacks with Spearow too. Yeah, but although he can still attack my bench Pokemon gradually, so let's go for the charge. Yeah, victory is mine. That was one of my longest and most horrible games I've ever played. But <laughs> maybe I won't be able to beat all the club members this part. Oh, jeez! But I want it! <laughs> early game decks! Oh, early game decks. You are not as powerful as you could be. That's part of the problem, too. Ooh, Venusaur. It's got energy transfer. You can move grass energy from... Uh, grass energy from po grass Pokemon to grass Pokemon, basically, in a 60 solar beam. So you could use that to power up its own solar beam, if need be. Uh, Kadabra. Not that bad of a card, really. You can remove all damage counters and do 50s. So, opponent's gotta be wary of that. Ooh, Defender's a very nice card. You can reduce attack damage by 20. It's similar to plus power, only it's 20 instead of the 10. It's sort of like a balancer dealio. I got a double colorless. Mega, mega brokenness there. Uh, Sly Shock paralyzes. Oops, it can, I mean, it can paralyze if you get the coin flip. Let's see here, Jigglypuff, Sleepy Sleepy Time, and a Pound. Magnemite, Tackle, this is a Game Boy exclusive card, so it's got one of those like randomized attacks. Dealio, yeah, I'm not sure how that would work <laughs> if it was in real life. Pokemon Chair, that could be very handy for my deck as well, because I can choose which cards that I want. You can paralyze stuff with Caterpie. Uh, and that's it for that. Your body and mind are both impressively strong, after all. I'll take you on when you like. Anytime! Yeah! So let's go ahead and swap some stuff on here. Really quick, because I got... I got the Defender, and I've got... The Pokemon Trader. Pokemon Trader, as I said, pretty, pretty versatile. So what we're gonna do here is, I think I'm gonna remove one of the switches for that Pokemon Trader, and for the other one, we're gonna remove... I don't know, actually. Um, I don't know if I want to remove Pokemon. <laughs> At least this early in the game, because that's it's kind of like the backbone of the early game decks, you know? Maybe I... Hmm, I think I will drop the other switch, because I don't really switch that often. And if I do, I can afford the energy, or energy costs and whatnot. Alright, no thanks. This is turning into less of a starter deck and more of a semi-beginner deck. I don't know. <laughs> Hi there, I'm Matthew of the Rock Club. Despite what it looked like, Team GR never got close to conquering us, though I had been defeated by that GR number one fellow. But Team GR won't ever, won't ever win again. I'll fight anyone who wants to duel. Yeah, sure. Four prize cards, let's -a go! And bolster our deck by after beating a Rolling Stone deck that may or may not be a slight reference to a slight band. Maybe, but anyway. Seven cards. Let's see what we've got here. Um, let's do Spear Roll Resistance time because he's going to be probably playing a lot of fighting stuff. And hopefully he'll play the fighting as his first Pokemon. Oh shoot, not going first here. Oh, it's a fire! Oh, it's a fire! I can't resist! 
with the Spearow, but I can't retreat um, for free with Spearow with the zero retreat energy cost dealio. As you see here, retreat zero. Not, there's no symbol next to the retreat cost there. So what I could do is retreat and save that Spearow for later and then attack with the Scratch, because then I technically get the first Scratch in that. But he might just Ember on his next turn anyway, so it might actually, yeah. That, oh, he's scratching. Oh, maybe he's saving his ember for a plus power surprise or something. Uh, gonna go... Pop that, and I'll go for the ember myself, because I'll knock him down to 10 HP. And then I'll just be able to scratch on the next turn. He is not happy. <laughs> Alright, he's going for the ember too. Alright, so we're gonna be both down to the 10s. Uh, ooh, uh, do I... Do I, don't I have another... I mean, I do have other Charmanders in my deck, but I mean, I must have been thinking of the other game when I was swimming in Charmanders. Um, I wonder if I should... Like, what does he have here? Rhyhorn, Ponyta, Ponyta. Like, can I really get use out of that... Hmm, out of the Spearow? Maybe not. Hmm... I wonder if I could do some trickery here. Like, maybe he won't attack on his next turn with a fire energy. And, I, like, I could skip attacking this turn with Charmander and just evolve the Charmeleon and then attach a Fighting. And then use Energy Retrieval to get back. That seems risky, though. <laughs> I'll just attack and hope I get another Charmander. I guess. I guess. Because he'll, he'll knock out Charmander on the next turn. Meowth will not be happy to battle Fighting-type Pokémon, so... Let's see how things turn out. No attack, because you require two energy cards. Um... Okay. Let's see here... Gotta use the noodle. <laughs> okay, Meowth, I might as well. Uh... Actually, maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I should have just discarded it. I don't know. Like, with the energy retrieval. Nah, I think there's other stuff to... I can discard, like, Raticate, probably. Because, I, don't, I don't know. Um... Let's go and... Ember. <laughs> I mean, because I can do a lot of... I'm just like... I can do damage, like 10 damage with virtually anything the Pony Toss, so... And yeah, Kick Attack, okay, so... <laughs> Finally, Charmander goes down. And now, Spiro comes in. So now I'll attach that, and I will pack. Victory-ish. It's still not over. There's still two more prize cards to get and whatnot, but... Alright. No need to turn without attacking. Okay, hello! Um... Still don't really have the... Yeah, don't really have the stuff. How about I go and... Get, get the Ponyta powered up there. Peck attack. And hopefully he won't flame tail with for 30. He needs to have another fire energy for the Ponyta. He might do so. Oh no! He, oh, that means he's out of energy. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Time to get aggressive then, if at all possible. So we're gonna go energy retrieval. Macho could discard, grab two fire energy to prepare for the Charmeleon in the future, and peck for now. <laughs> And on the next turn, I could actually give another energy to Spiro if I wanted to. Um, oh, it could do agility if it gets another energy card. It can also do, yeah, well, that, that's another thing, but agility can prevent all effects of attacks, including damage, to. Yeah, that could be a problem. But no, don't panic, don't panic. We could still pull this off. What we will do here is get stuff set up for the future. <laughs> I only have two prize cards. I can take out that Rapidash if I can swap in that Charmeleon without any energy ire. And, 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 here we go. <laughs> and then I'll just flamethrower it into oblivion. I can stall with Onyx too. Flamethrower, 50 damage or 40 HP remaining. It was kind of pointless to attack with the Spearow on the last turn, in all honesty, but eh. Eh. Ooh, another spear in case of stalling fight, uh, fighting types, yeah. Alright, so, if I have another fire energy, 
I can knock out the Charmander in one fell swoop, and this game will be mine! Mine! Ooh, Defender. Uh, uh well... It's still not that bad of a setup, actually. Uh, I'm gonna go and... Wait, no, hold on. Spearow out there. I guess I could just attack for 230s, and then defend just to be sure. Uh, I mean, yeah, it's, it's not what I was going for, because I didn't have the fire that I got out of that. Used up all the fires. Oh, that's why I wanted to go and defeat it in one fell swoop. Because he can switch now to stall out, being able to uh, uh, finish him off and whatnot. So, okay, fire energy. How about I do a sneaky move here? I'm gonna not attach that, and then attack with Slash, and then attach it on the next turn for the Flamethrower for the Knockout, make it, making it seem like I don't have energy cards. I don't care if you gust the wind me. You can you can knock out that Meowth if you'd like to. That, that only do double damage, you can take your prize card, then I'm just gonna put Charmeleon back in. <laughs> Hello, Fire Energy. Hello, Win. <laughs> Alright, so that's two duels that I won straight, and uh, I, I thought it was going to battle Gene this part, but that first one took way too long because of the terrible early game. <laughs> All the energy cards at the bottom of my deck! <laughs> Why don't you tough? Here, take this booster pack. But yeah, I'll save Gene for the next part. And we get nine tails, seen that. So the magic carps, know that, know that. Uh, stiffen, front all damage, poison. Oh, I think I showed that before, actually. Uh, Weedle's got the poison sting. You can get poisons on head flips, you know, diglets, you know, the special intro pack Bulbasaur. Alright. Just you wait. I won't be so easily defeated next time. There will be a next time, because I already beat you! Okay, I could battle you again in the future, who knows. But with that, I'm going to end off this part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when I battle Gene and other guys beyond, unless Gene's duel takes forever and a half to. Dang you.